Welcome guys. So in this video, I'm going to show how to uh, provide a password strength indicator, or let's say call it a password validity for uh, user validations. So it will be use easy for user to understand what exactly we expect from them in the password and what they are typing. So here, uh, usually we'll have some validations like it should have minimum character, or number, or special character. So I'm going to build this one. So for this I have the you know page where we have all the login form, sign up form. So for this all I need is uh, three states. So let's create a one by one. So I will start showing the whole uh, div when a uh, user focus on the input or uh, input box, the password or input field. So for this, uh, let's create a state of to maintain whether user has focused on it or not. So it should be password focused and uh, by default it will be false. Whenever user clicks on the password field, we will set this to true. The second one is uh, to store the value of the password. It is for uh, the controlled component of the input which we will be needing it to send it to the server and all. And the third one is uh, the validity of the password. Which will contain object based on your uh, how the rules will uh, structure this. For this demo I am going to have three conditions. One is the password should have minimum eight characters and it should have one number and it should have one special character. For this let's get three uh, keys in uh, the object one as minimum character by default it will be null so that uh, initially it will be in grey color when a user types in and if it is my condition is met then it will change to green otherwise it will be in red color so if it is true it will be uh, success and the password is uh, contained now uh, that condition is valid so let's uh, apply this uh, for value for this password and then whenever uh, we use the on change callback for uh, validating the password it will be in real time whenever you use the types in immediately we will show the corresponding uh, validity so we'll create a function called on change password which accepts the password that user types in so first let's update the password or value set password to make it as a control component and then uh, here are we are going to apply the validation. So for this, uh, let's first uh, move this to another component. I have created a component uh, called password strength indicator. I am going to place this whole uh, the UI to that, move the UI to the separate component, which will in turn accept the validity, the object that we created in the main component. We will destructure all these three things minimum character and uh, number and uh, the special character. Further, I am going to create a, one more uh, component to actually uh, for this individual item the password or strength indicator item. We will be applying a small logic inside this so to have a clear readability. I'm going to going with a new component. So you can create as it as a new separate file or you can place it in the same component, it doesn't matter because you will not use it in any other places except this. 
which has uh, two things one is the text that we need to render and uh, this validity of course based on this uh, validity we will either change the color to green or red we will render the text and I'm going to replace uh, those three lists with the uh, component let's pass it as a props and we'll copy and paste it for all other three of the two be for the special character uh, minimum character and the next one is the number it should at least have one number and now we need to pass uh, the validity of for all these three items that we created Now we will pass um, main character for this, number for this, and a special care for this. So, which is actually coming from the main uh, parent component. And based on this validity status, if it is, is valid, then uh, we will have a class for that. It, has, it should be RTX success for green color. and else we'll have another condition because we have a null uh, state in this if it is not equal to null we will render raw uh, text danger which is a red color for user to identify that uh, there was some error in that condition otherwise we'll render nothing and i'm going to use this class in the uh, list uh, item Okay, now let's get back to the component. Now we need to render this component on a condition or uh, based on a focus. Now for that uh, we'll have a on focus callback for the password field and set the focus password focus to two. Set password focus to two two. We have already written the state for that. Now, based on this, I will render this using conditional rendering. And we will pass the validity to this, which is again uh, coming from our state that we already created. That is a password validity. Now it's time to write our conditions for that. So in our on change password or callback, we have uh, I have two regex for uh, the number and special character. I will leave it in the description. You can copy it, or I will leave the demo in the description link for the demo you can go and check the code there so i'm going to set uh, password visibility validity for all three conditions first condition is min minimum character for this i'm just going to check the length of the password should be greater than eight greater than or equal to eight if 
if it is true then i will make it as a true or uh, let's make it as false the next one is the number i am going to use uh, number regex uh, to check if there was any number present in this password dot test password if it is true that means it has the number so i will uh, set this to true or else it is a false now the third one is special character the same thing i am going to use uh, special character regex for this which will check for all the available regex you can modify this or you can generate your own regex from other online websites so if it is matches this special character regex it will be true or it will be false now we are uh, done with this let's go and check this out in the remove we give us an error in password indicator we just go to that point okay it should be this value so we'll get back to the demo okay now we will be able to see this here i'm going to for convenience i will open this password so i have a demo for adding this uh, toggle password tool if you want you can go and check it in the description so whenever i type in number special character changes to green when i met this conditions so let me type in and special character is done one number is done and the minimum character is set to that so it's visually easy for user to understand what is going on with the password and what we are expecting so it's better to have this kind of feedbacks to the user when they were working on these passwords thanks for watching the video please subscribe for more videos like this